you or someone you know getting the most out of your thyroid medication? Well, at the end of this video, I promise you, you're gonna know everything you need to know. First, a few facts about hypothyroidism, which basically means low thyroid levels. It's quite common, it affects one in 70 women and one in 1,000 men in the UK. Symptoms include fatigue, weight gain, sensitivity to the cold, and many more. So to restore thyroid levels in our body, levothyroxine and similar medicines are prescribed, and here's how to take it for best results. Lots of patients ask me this. And there's actually quite a lot of conflicting advice online. So, as long as you haven't been directed differently by a prescriber, then here's what I recommend. Tip one, if you don't take any medication first thing in the morning, take it as soon as you wake up, ideally 30 to 60 minutes before breakfast or any caffeinated drinks. And this is my favorite mug. And here's a fun fact for everyone, Pharmacists love these kinds of facts, so if there's any watching, I hope you enjoy it. So some studies show that food reduces the absorption of levothyroxine by up to 20%. So that's why we say, take it on an empty stomach. And that's the fact, I hope you enjoyed it. Tip two, thyroid medication isn't usually taken at night, because some people find it difficult to fall asleep. Now it's probably due to the relationship between the adrenal hormone cortisol and the hypothalamus pituitary axis which regulates all hormones in our body. And that includes thyroid stimulating hormone. Tip three, avoid taking your thyroid medication at the same time as your calcium supplements, iron supplements and antacids, as these will also reduce its absorption. But fear not, you can still take these medicines, but wait at least four hours after taking your thyroxine before you take them. I've also left a link in the description below with all the medicines that interact with levothyroxine, so feel free to click on it. Tip four, soya isn't on that list, but it can stop levothyroxine from working properly. So if you do eat it regularly or take any soya supplements, it's worth letting your doctor know so they can do extra blood tests. Kelp isn't on that list either, but trust me, it is a good list for medication interactions. Kelp contains iodine, which can make an underactive thyroid worse. So avoid eating it if you're taking levothyroxine. Tip number six. Always let your pharmacist know that you're taking levothyroxine, especially when you're starting a new medicine or you're buying something over the counter, because they can then check if there's any interactions. If you have any friends or family who take thyroid medication, help them get the most out of their medicines by teaching them what you've learned today. Or if that takes too long, just like, share, and tag them in. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow, or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos. You're gonna know everything you need to know. I hope you don't mind, you might be in the video. Are you okay yes, with that? I'm sorry. No comment, it's fine. It doesn't matter if you want past. Sensitivity to the cold. Hi guys. If you can see him. He's got good muscles. Works them out quite frequently, but still not as good as my muscles. <laughs>